back with our series, Money Made Easy. It's part of our collaboration with CNBC Select. And this morning, we are breaking down the benefits of budgeting apps. Whether you've never tried one before or you're a serious budgeter who wants a better way to track spending, we have the scoop on some of the best options. CNBC Select contributor Brittany Jones Cooper is here. Brittany, good morning. Hi, Dylan. So we were just talking about how I should probably try <laughs> one of these budgeting apps, but I, yeah. I don't know what they do, how they work. So break that down for us. You know, they're really helpful for when you're ready to get honest about your spending because a lot of them will look at your bank account so you get to see every single transaction. Mm -hmm. So at CNBC, we actually reviewed about a dozen of these and we compared things like how they link to your accounts. Is it safe? Mm -hmm. um, how affordable they are and how easy they are. And what we liked is like overall, the, most of them will split your spending into categories. Mm -hmm. So whether it's food, transportation, or entertainment. So you get used to following your money and where you're actually spending it. Okay. And I know some people are a little wary about connecting an app with their bank. Yes. I get that. But these apps are encrypted, so your data is safe and secure. They also use a lot of those security measures like uh, touch codes and multi-factor authentication, fraud liability. Okay. So you can feel comfortable. So can yeah, you can feel comfortable using the apps. And finally, I'll say a lot of them have a free version that's really great, and you can okay. do all of your budgeting in it. But if you, if you have some advanced needs, then you have to pay for a subscription. Like investments yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. So for someone who's never used one of these apps before, where's a good place to start? You know, I like Good Budget because mm -hmm. it's similar to that envelope budgeting system that a lot of people are already familiar with, where you have an envelope, you write a spending category on it, you put cash on it, and when it's gone, that's it. it you're out. Yeah. Good Budget will give you digital envelopes. So it's a way to update that old school mm -hmm. system because now you can track it on your phone. Mm -hmm. The thing about Good Budget, it's not going to connect to your bank automatically. So then you have to manually add your transaction. Okay. And then if you want to have more than 20 envelopes, then you have to pay for that plus version, which is going to be about $8 a okay. month. Okay. So it's a good starter. It's a good way to, yes. I think, dip a toe in. Okay. Yeah. Right. Great. So, Brittany, what if you, you, you tend to maybe overspend on dinners or going on vacation or something like that? What kind of apps do you like for that? Well, you know, I, first I want to say the word overspender has such a negative connotation. Uh -huh. We all do it. We are all guilty. If of you're it. an aggressive spender. Yeah. <laughs> but I think at some point we have to like learn to rein it in. So Pocket Guard is really good for that because they help you check in. So they're going to send users notifications when you hit 50 percent of your budget, mm -hmm. when you hit 75 percent of your budget and then when you go over your budget. So you're a little more accountable. Right. And with Pocket Guard, it will connect to your bank account, so that's nice. And it automatically categorizes those spending that you're spending. And also, it lets you set one financial goal. But if you want to do more than that, maybe set multiple financial goals or, like, check your cash flow, yeah. you have to pay for the subscription, which is about less than, less than $75 a, a year. Now, what do you like to help save money, an app that helps you save money? Well, I know. Everybody wants to save money. There's one called You Need a Budget or <laughs> YNAB. YNAB. YNAB, for short. And this one is great because on their website... They claim that the average user can save up to $600 wow. in the first two months and up to 6000 in the first year. Whew. So there's money out there to be found. Uh -huh. And YNAB is similar to the other apps. It links to your bank account. It will put your spending into categories. Uh -huh. But what's interesting is that if your budget is set and you have a little money left over, they have something that's called zero-based budgeting. So every dollar is assigned a job. So you assign that money to either go into your savings, uh -huh. towards investments, towards credit card debt, and the app will help you do that. So it's really helpful. And it also tracks your ha your habits? Yeah, so that's the thing. You know, the it, this is a little more expensive than the other apps. It's free for the first 34 days, and then after that, it's $14.99 a month. But with that $14.99, you get some educational tools, mm -hmm. like workshops. So if you're looking to really improve your financial health, this is the app. All right, great. Yeah. Thank Let's you. talk about, this is interesting, an app for couples. Yes. Quite often couples, you know, argue about finances. So tell me about this. Yeah, this one is called Honeydew. 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 <laughs> Honeydew. Can really we go sweet. With yeah. Really sweet. Get people talking about their money in a yes. nice way. Yes. Uh, this one is free. How does that work? You have the app. I have the app. Yeah. It's Vice free. Person. It connects to your, your bank account, and it will categorize your spending for you. What's cool is that it also connects to your partner's So I account. see that you just spent money on these shoes. So yeah. So it's I'm not even what, just that, Chanel. It's like it? there's 20,000 other financial institutions it links to, right? So it's your bank account, oh. your credit card, okay. any investments you have. So you see each other's full oh, financials, ooh. all the things, full, <laughs> full no hiding. secret, full transparency. Yeah. But it's nice because in the app, you can like split expenses. You can decide who pays bills. Good. You can work together towards a shared financial goal. And there's even a chat feature. So you can talk about your bills in the app, which She's I know. like, where are you? I'm upstairs. <laughs> I just don't want to come talk to you. No. <laughs> right? I know it doesn't seem like romantic to talk about money, exactly. but honestly, nothing says love yeah. to me like financial transparency. <laughs> there you go. Is Professor true. Valentine's Thank Day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. That was great. All right. So for more help to manage your money, you can head to CNBC.com slash money advice to sign up for CNBC Select newsletter. And we should note CNBC Select may get a commission for purchases made through links on our website.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.